Hello everybody, I'm Dark Matter Luigi, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. And if you couldn't tell by all that awesomeness that's just been going on, it's Star Fox Adventures. Yes, this really is an amazing game, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to do a Let's Play on it. Now, I know that... I've been quitting my last couple Let's Plays that I've started on doing, and I really apologize for that, but whenever a, something goes wrong, technical difficulties that I start having with recording stuff, I try to keep my temper up, but it just kind of, I kind of lose my temper a lot whenever that happens, and... You know, I kind of rage quit, so that's why I'm doing this now. Let's start an empty slot. And if I, I was actually kind of worried I wasn't going to be able to do this well enough because I, I did beat this game once, but I had to practice through the whole entire game, so I know I won't completely fail at this so much. But, yeah, I... I know how to beat this game now, and let's just start this game. Yeah, play a game. The game is loading. From the depths of this page, the girl named Lila Crystal, Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within the last corner of the Lila Temple, she receives a, a just, distressing call from a world known as Dinosaur Planet. Ah, I wasn't able to read that last line. Why? I hate it when that happens. That's Crystal, by the way. She's a fox. A foxy fox. Yeah, and they're speaking a completely different language. Oh no! Staff! That's, that really blows. It's a big, huge dinosaur head. Oh no! What are we gonna do now? Looks like we're gonna have to do something about this. It's a pirate ship. Kind of. Kind of. Let's just destroy it! Shoot lasers at it! I'm a firing my laser! I know, so overused. Just can't help it. And what's kind of cool is that you cannot die in this first battle because it doesn't matter how many times you get hit, you just won't die. This is that, it's that crazy. I'm serious. So you're just gonna have to do this a second round, of course. Throw the thing. Go! Now you're gonna turn around. Now we have to shoot the head. Die, head! You must die! Yay! It's on fire! We murdered a dinosaur. But it was worth it. Alright, see you later! Your adventure begins! Use the control stick to move Crystal around the galleon! Press out the center of the camera behind Crystal. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear a voice. Try finding the source of that voice. Alright, so the controls are pretty much similar to the Zelda game. Which is pretty cool. This is the voice. When the A button appears, check the A display. This will tell you what A can do at, at that time. Alright, let's talk to the dinosaur. By pressing A, you were able to talk to me. 
when it appears again, check the display. As the sponge can do many different things. Like open a random door! Thank you, tutorial dinosaur! And that, yes, that's what I'm gonna call you. That's what I'm gonna call you. T tutorial dinosaur. And ooh, it's shiny! We got a key from Kazoa Palace! You pick up an item! It will be placed into your C inventory! Move C in any direction to display your inventory! Then push C left or right to retort rotate the inventory! I can adopt today! Each slot will hold different types of objects! Why am I singing? I don't know! Just a useless room! I'm gonna stop singing now. By the way, you can roll with the X button. Completely useless, as of now. Oh no. Why do you want fire? That's bad for your health, dude! You really need to stop doing that. Terrible addiction. Why are people not speaking in English? Kind of weird how the dinosaur language is like some words. It's in English, but most of the words aren't. I really don't get that. See what I mean? Cloud Runner, there's no. That's in English. You're totally evil, General Scales. No, don't hurt Toriel Dinosaur! The dinosaur helps me out. Oh, I get it. So apparently... The important names are in English, and the not so important names are in the dinosaur language. I get it now. Nope, this is over. End of the game. Thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking. There's so much more we can do. You're at Krozoa Palace. Of course. Well, goodbye, dinosaur peak creature. You have arrived at Krizola Palace. When you want to save your game, you must have a memory card inserted inserted in slot A. Press the control stick to pause. I mean the start button. Don't know why I thought that was a control stick button. Pause the game and display the save quit options. Highlight the required option by moving. Control stick left or right, then press A to select. Don't forget that you can save at any time. Thank you. This is a fuel barrel generator. It has been left here by General Scales. He uses the fuel to power where the shark his shark claw army. Why can I not talk today? Each time you use a barrel, another will be generated at the, this location. All right. Go to the past screen. There's your save option and quit option. I'm not gonna save because yeah I don't want to save just in case of anything bad will happen with, to my recordings and I'll have to start over. When the seed is, is displayed you can use an item from your C inventory. Move Z in any direction and it will automatically go to the correct slot for you. Use the item, simply press A. Alrighty. Let's use this key that we got here. And here is a bomb. Let me demonstrate it by destroying this enemy. Yay, and when you've destroyed like one bomb that's in a random area, it won't reappear in that same area you got it from, it will re reappear in these like fuel generator thingies. Let's just kill this guy because I can. Just so I won't get in my way, even though the enemies will respawn. 
but at least it gives me enough time. Ooh, what are these delicious goodness things? These are tasty puck 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 eggs. A sharp claw delicacy. Don't worry, they are not dinosaur eggs. <laughs> of course they are not. They come from the huge puck puck birds that the sharp claw breed just for the taste this tasty snack. Walk, walk over the egg to collect and recharge your energy. Alright. Awesome. Of course there's another enemy over there that we're gonna have to kill. Or we can just walk right by it, but... Actually, let's do that because I don't want to waste time. There's a crack in the wall, so let's explode it! No, enemy over here. And here's another one of the random areas where a bomb could be. Alright, what's this? Fan for fair music, yay! You've collected a Dumble Dang pot. <laughs> That's a funny word. It, has, it is a delicious fruit, fruit found only on a dinosaur pump planet. You will find them in sharp claw baskets and crates. Or hanging in Dumble Dang trees. Even baddies will sometimes drop them. Oh, interesting. But the thing you need to know about these two things that we picked up, ouch, that hurt, is that the puck puck eggs, like these, will heal a full heart, or like, no, it's not a heart, it's not Zelda, but you know what I mean, it will heal a full thing of uh, health, and the double egg pod will only heal part of it. So it's kind of like Zelda. Crap! Why did I do that? No! I hate this. I knew there would be failure. I just have to wait. I just have to be patient. Crap! Why? Why am I failing so bad? Uh -huh. Okay, last time. Please let this be the last time. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna wait here. And I'm gonna throw! Yes! Finally! Goodness! I have no idea why that took me so long. I'm gonna get this health thing because I'm kinda hurting. Yeah, as you can see, the Dumbledore pod doesn't do very much. Here, yay, the door opened, but if we step off of it, it will close again. So we need to press this bomb on here. Did I see another health thing? No. That was just my imagination. Hello, dinosaur creature! I want to talk to you. <coughs> Kyo Krisoa. Oh, are they now? King Earthwalker shot its game. Hekas Kiesh Shushat Fusuzo Kutsimo Eve Kao Krizoa. Oh man, I didn't mean to yawn in the middle of a cutscene. Rado Kavo K. O Kudok Naki Kao Fahaksh A Kudok Ash 2. Ash Kutso Jimokar Atsute Mo Wak. At Kokio Fiho Eve Kutsuk, Sud Kubo Keo Gashk Utko Keo Krasoa Shrine, Et Su Ajatu, Sev Kuko Kik Pahaks Kot, Ut Unuak Ue Honut, Av Ue Jesut. So here's an interesting thing I should mention. 
I actually did start doing a let's play on this game on my old channel, but that didn't go too well. Obviously. <laughs> so I haven't even been in the game when I started that one. This is a Crusoe shrine, shrine entrance warp. Stand in the center and press A to enter the shrine. Will do! Oh, so shiny! Now here we are at this co cool place. Any help? Yes! Thank you! I so wanted to have full house. Help. You have found your way into a Krizoa Kr 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 shrine, and within lies a Krizoa spirit. The spirits have been hidden, as, as they hold great powers. Power that, if in, in the wrong hands, could bring terror. But in the right hands, the spirits can bring peace. There are six spirits. To find and return to Grizzola Palace. If you can find the spirit within this, sh this shrine and complete its test, then it will be yours. Alright, and of course, the tests will become a lot harder as you progress. Like always. And why does climbing a ladder have to take so long? It's taking forever. Of course, there's these uh, little shield things that we'll see a lot. Why did I have to get hit? This is a life force door. Spirit floating on it will tell, tell you how many bad guys you must defeat before the door will open. And for this one, you need to only kill one enemy. There will be more enemies you have to kill, kill to open these things once you progress to the game, but that's for later. Ah, uh, I have to kill this guy. Of course I do. Die! Just run the suck, don't care about the fire. Just go to the side and he won't even get hurt. Ooh, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Test one. Test of observation. Watch closely where I have hide. When the urn stop moving, you must show me which urn I have hit it in. Find me three times in a row, and I will be yours to return to Grizzola Palace. If you fail this test, you will have to complete the puzzles all over again. Which is very annoying. On my practice playthrough, I've had to do that so many times on one of them. It's the bottom one. Of course, the first test will always be easy. If you have a good following skills, that is. Alright, the bottom left. Now one more. Alright, now it's all the way to the top. There we go! Got it right on the ball. Have the physical look of the first Krizoa spirit, and will remain in your body until you take it to the Krizoa Palace, where it must be released. Alright! Woot woot! You are doing good. Kyo 
Alright. Cool story, bro. Okay, so once we head over here, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, and we will release the spirit, yeah, in the next episode, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment, and if you want updates on my channel, be sure to check out my Twitter, it'll be in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time for a Let's Play of Star Fox Adventures! Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!